Welcome to this Burisco tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at the scroller in Burisco. The scroller in Burisco has similar behavior to that of a group, but the scroller can be used to create an area that will have scrolling features. This way you'll be able to add a lot of extra content in your pages without having to divide the content over different pages or overlays. Adding a scroller to your page is easy. To add a scroller to your page, all you need to do is press the scroller button on the toolbar and the scroller will be added to the page. Let's add a scroller to the page and see how we can use it. As you can see, the scroller has been added to the page. On the right side and on the bottom of the scroller, you can see scroll bars. Like I mentioned before, the scroller is quite similar to a group and mostly behaves the same way. This means that you'll be able to change the position and size just like you would do for a group. Below the position and size section in the property panel, you'll find a scroller section. The scroller section contains all the unique features that can be used for the scroller. The first two features allow you to enable the vertical and horizontal scroll bars. This can be used in case you absolutely do not want a scroll bar on either the vertical or horizontal axis. Please note that if the contents of the scroller are smaller than the scrollable area, the scroller will not display any scroll bars. The thumb and track features allow you to change the colors of the scroll bars. So for example, if I change the color of the thumb to blue, You can see that the color of the thumb on the scroll bar has changed to blue. To change the background of the scroller, we can use the background feature on the style section of the property panel. Let's set the background to light gray. By using these features, you will be able to change the appearance of the scroller to make it match the designs or color scheme of your project. To test our scroller, we need to add some contents. Let's open the scroller and add some images to our scroller so that we can see how it looks like when the scroller has some contents to scroll. Now that we have opened the scroller, I'm going to drag some images from the library onto the stage area. I will add six in total. Now that this has been done, let's open the page preview and have a look at our scroller. As you can see, we have vertical and horizontal scroll bars. This is because the images exceed both the width and height of the scroller's scrollable area. And when I'm scrolled down, I'm able to see three images on the left. And when I scroll to the right, I'm also able to see three images on the right. Now, if I close the page preview and disable the horizontal scroll bar,
and then go back to the page preview, you will see that it's no longer possible for me to scroll horizontally. Next, we're going to use the layout features to organize our images into a list. To do this, you need to go to the layout section on the property panel. Here we'll be able to choose from normal, vertical and horizontal. Since we have already disabled the horizontal scroll bar, let's go and use the vertical layout. As you can see, the images in the scroller have been organized into a list of images. You'll be able to do the same with any other type of object. So if I add a text to the scroller and then enable the vertical layout, the text will also be organized in the same way. Let's also add a 10 pixel spacing. If you want to find out more about layouts, please refer to the documentation or watch the groups tutorial. This concludes the video tutorial on how to use the scroller in Barisco. Please also watch our other video tutorials on barisco.com slash tutorials. Thank you for watching.